students and two teaching staff and irrespective of all the challenges this great school stood the test of time and has now over 3,000 students. Nana Chair, permit me to see this unique opportunity to thank His Excellency the President, 
the Chief Justice, the Road Minister, and the Special Assistant to the Road Minister, because irrespective of the current challenges in our economy, the government, through the Road Minister and the Special Assistant, has been able to fix our inner roads, which were in bad shape for well over 20 years. And also, quite recently, we were given an ultra-modern girls' dormitory. We say thank you. Let me also use this opportunity to acknowledge the ASOSA, the All Student Association, which has been the driving force for projects in the school. All students continually renovated dormitories and classroom blocks on a regular basis. These projects are led by vibrant year groups that continually seek for projects and give back to the school. The latest is the building of new gates by the 1985 year group and the construction of multipurpose basket and tennis courts by the 1990, 1990 year group, of which I'm one of them. The 202 year group also commissioned Irana in April of 2022. Nana Indeed, Apam Senior High School is the only senior high school in the whole country, for that matter, the whole world, which has a great tag to its name. And regardless of Adisada's, the preference on whatever, greater part is greater part. Now, not Chair, notwithstanding all these projects, our great school has no school bus. Nana Chair, irrespective of all what we have, our grade school has no bus. And we don't have assembly hall as well. Permit me to bring this into the attention of the former chairman of NPP, Mr. Peter McMenu. Mr. Peter McMenu, permit me to bring to your attention that your school has no school bus. Neither do we have assembly hall. On basis of this, may I ask you to use your office to support us to get a school bus and assembly hall. When we get the school bus, it's going to save us from borrowing from various schools which they don't have the great name attached to their school. But yes, we will go there to borrow bus. I think it's not right. Mr. Peter McMahon, we plead with you. You, an old boy as well, we plead with you as a matter of urgency, you make sure that your great school will get a school bus and will get an assembly hall. <laughs> I'm appealing to you as a board chair to assist this girls school to have an assembly hall so that we can stop the shifting cultivation of our dining hall into an assembly hall, which has culminated in most of our tables and chairs being broken because of excessive pulling and pushing for well over six years. I'm also pleading with the Honorable Minister of Education as a matter of urgency to support the school of the great name attached to its name. Your Excellency, it is worth mentioning of, of the governing board of Greater Pass some successes struck by the great school in various areas of national endeavor as follows. In politics, the immediate past Speaker of Parliament, from here, my word support me. I will mention the name, then we respond, upper mic. The immediate Speaker of Parliament, Professor Mike Okwe is what? Mr. Mark Peter Mayne is what? Mr. Fred Owa is what? Honorable I.K. Again, is what? In judiciary, we have many, but I'm going to continue. 
We have His Lordship Justice Kwesi and Nyabwa. His Lordship Justice Ofo Magache. His Lordship Justice Niko Tekote. His Lordship Justice Novisi Ayini. And we have others, uh, appeals courts. We have Justice Barbara Akayensu. Justice Jasad of blessed memory. And it's worth to mention that it's only greater pass that has three Supreme Court judges at the Supreme Court as we speak now. In business, we have Dr. Ishmael Yamsen, Dr. Victor K. Osen, 